This guide will explain what Hardpoint is in Black Ops 2, which is a new game mode introduced in Black Ops 2. So just a note about the game, <laughs> this was probably the most fun I've ever had. The combination of Hardpoint, which is one of my favourite game types. <laughs> I'm discovering all these game types to be very fun, which is kind of neat. Uh, uh, and the combination of the game type Hardpoint and uh, S12 shotgun, which is a very good shotgun and very fun to use, <laughs> was just building on each other and then there was this game and I was like I had a score of 50 and 70 and it was just so fun because it was uh, aggressive, it was fast packed. Anyway, so hard point is basic, is very similar to headquarters. Uh, uh, probably even more similar to drop zone from Modern Warfare 3 that was introduced as a community playlist game in Modern Warfare 3. Basically there was an area that you had to go to and control. Whilst you were there you would get points and get whatever drop, care package drops, whatever and that game mode was very similar to this one except that in Black Ops 2 the areas are a bit bigger and there's a bit more cover available. In Modern Warfare 3 there was very little cover in those uh, drop zone areas. What I don't like about this game mode is that when you are in the drop zone, you don't get any points for being there. So <laughs> when there are four or five people in there, there's just no reason to be there. Because, you know, there's no one, there's no incentive to be there. You better be better off going out there and shooting some people so they can't take control of the drop zone, of the area, harm point or whatever. But if everyone does that, <laughs> then there's no one going to be on the hard point. And I don't know, the combination is just very frustrating. And just sitting there, waiting for enemies to come, is also pretty boring. But you have to be on the hard point to uh, win the match. But it's very rare that uh, maybe there's at one point in this match. I don't know. The one that's f towards the far back of one of the spawns, that one's pretty boring because <laughs> the enemy just respawns on the other side of the map and just wait for ages. But that, as I said, that doesn't really happen too much in hard point. Usually the drop uh, the hard points are in high traffic areas and the enemies respawn nearby. So it's always gonna be a lot of action in the game. It's better when I was talking about how some hard points are a bit boring. The area that I was just in was the one I was talking about. In a previous game I was sitting in it for like a minute or so and nothing happened and that was pretty boring. Also in that sequence you just saw there I did know I did see the guy that I was walking past but I was hoping he would notice me and I could take out the guy that I took out before he came around the corner, but obviously that did not work out the way it was supposed to. It's quickly immersing that in hardpoint the best weapon type to use are shotguns or submachine guns, because there's going to be very little uh, sort of hang back and pick people off from a distance, because you have to control areas that a lot of people are trying to control. That means that there's going to be <laughs> small areas where there's a lot of traffic, which lends itself to some machine guns and shotguns. I had a lot more success with shotguns, but I think submachine guns do offer a bit more versatility because they let you be able to guard the point better. You know, stand behind some cover and look at a longer sideline, which you can't do with a shotgun. You just have to sit in the corner and hope they don't notice you and you can shoot them quickly enough so that they don't kill you. But the few games of Hardpoint that I have had have been very enjoyable and I'm going to play more of it. Unfortunately not many people are in the playlist so it's kind of difficult to find a game of Hardpoint. But other than that it's a, it's a great game type. So about some strategies. Uh, the next part of this video will just be discussing different strategies that you can use to win Hardpoint effectively. Basically you have to take control of an area and the faster you get there, the easier time you have with keeping that area. But it's easier to defend an area than it is to capture because oftentimes the areas, the hard point areas are in, in places of the map where there's a lot of corners and so on. And if, <laughs> if someone's standing in a corner with a shotgun, like <laughs> I usually like to do, but if, say, an enemy is doing that, and you walk around the corner, it's very difficult to beat that guy because he's waiting for you, ready for you, whereas you don't really know where he is, so he just takes you out. So it's always better to try and get to the hard point as fast as possible, rather than 
sort of waiting around and trying to pick people off and then eventually making your way over there because the enemy is going to have control of them and it's going to be very difficult to root them out. When you are defending a hard point, sometimes it's not best to stay on a hard point, sometimes it's better to go around the side and get behind some people that are attacking because oftentimes, you know, <laughs> there's three or four pe enemies coming at you at once and sometimes you're alone. And if they know where you are, somewhere in the hard point, you're going to have a lot of trouble defending against four people coming at you at once. But if you go around and take them out, I don't really expect that. So you can wipe them out and keep control of the area. What I noticed was that the UAV is a very powerful asset in it. Because when you have, when you're trying to capture a hard point, knowing where the enemies are gives you a very good advantage. Because, uh, as I said before, <laughs> you know, often people stand on the corner with a shotgun. If you know where they are, you actually have an advantage on them because they don't know which corner you're going to come around. And also the information that you're coming around the corner slightly late. So you have a you have a basic advantage when you know where the enemies are and you can easily shoot them if you have a UAV up. So running UAV is very powerful and it's also quite easy to get score because when you capture a hard point you get 200 and then you kill another guy and that's basically a UAV. So <laughs> it's very easy to get a UAV. And the next score streak I would recommend is the hunter killer drone because <laughs> when the enemies are camped into the hard point often it's very difficult to get them out with a weapon and if you just have a <laughs> an airplane you can basically throw in there which would take care of two or three people and that's very handy a, a very handy tool indeed and also if you are defending a hard point and <laughs> you notice that there's three or four people coming out in the cluster usually I just take it out and just throw it at them and I've gotten quad kills with that before so <laughs> It, and also that means that they have to respawn then quite far away and run at you again which usually means that you have another what, time downtime where you can just you know reload your weapon cap takes uh, get some more score and so on which will have you a great way towards winning the game then the last one I use is you counter UAV because <laughs> the UAV is very effective but it also works against you, so the enemy UAV is also very effective. So having something to counter that UAV is quite good, because then you can stop the enemy from having that benefit. When you are trying to capture a hard point that you know enemies are at, and you happen you don't happen to have a UAV up, it's best not to go the same way into a hard point again. So. For instance, if you have some teammates ahead of you, they run in there and get killed. Don't go the same way because the people that are defending the hub are going to expect you to come from there. Instead, circle around, get them from behind. Oftentimes, that means that you can very easily clear out a hard point and capture it for yourself, which earns around five or six hundred score if you are if there's three or four unaware enemies that you are coming. And that is usually a very good approach that you don't just keep <laughs> trying to get in the same way but you try different ways and so on and the same goes for you if you if you've gone into the hard point one way and failed don't go in the same way try a different route try a different approach uh, flank around and get in there behind so that <laughs> that will help you get the hard point where the enemies are camped in deep much easier than if you just throw your body at it over and over and over again and hope something good happens when you are defending a hard point it's very easy to get picked off from long range if there's an easy sideline into the air hard point area, especially with uh, how easy it is. Well, let's not say how easy, but snipers are often commonly used, and the people that do use them are very good with them. So if you expose yourself uh, to long sidelines, you're going to be picked off very quickly and very easily. So instead of sitting behind cover that covers a long distance, I would recommend that you sort of stay in a more <laughs> protected area. So oftentimes there are houses where the hard point is in. So if you go in the second story and use the window to look out to shoot people, then you can find another window and shoot out of that and so on. Instead of just sitting behind one specific sideline. So there you have it. That's the guide for hardpoint in Black Ops 2. 
So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.